So you're looking to move to Norfolk, Virginia, or maybe you already live here and you're looking to do something fun with maybe yourself, not out in the town, something to do with the kids. Well, that's what we're gonna hit in this video right now. Hey, welcome back to the Living in Coastal Virginia channel. My name is Dan Inman. I own and operate Inman Home Services with Creed Realty, and my wife runs a small mortgage team with Success Mortgage Partners. We help people move nice and smooth into the area. We love helping you do that, and if you would like our help or our services, you can get a hold of us down below. You can hit us by email, text, phone call, any of those work. Like I said, as much as we like doing these videos, we like even more serving you and your family. If you do me a huge favor, uh, one of the things that uh, lets the algorithm know that we're doing things right is you hit that little like button. It means that the content is good. It means that we're doing the right stuff here. Uh, and if you would like to see more content like this, we drop twice a week, you can hit the subscribe button with the little bell notification. All right, so let's hit those top five fun things to do in Norfolk. Obviously there's more, but we only have time for five today. So number one on my list is gonna be Waterside downtown in say like the Nauticus Town Point Park area, all right? So number one, Waterside. Well, Waterside is right here along the water in Norfolk. It's got a whole bunch of restaurants. You've got, well, my number one favorite, Chipotle. Sean and I'm going to avoid going through my entire list there to help you save on editing time today. Uh, we have Guy Fieri's Smokehouse. So, um, Guy Fieri came in and did one of his specific restaurants here. Fantastic food. We even actually have a fudge. Is it a fudgery? How would you say that? Is it a fudge? Fudge. Fudgery sounds right. Fudge. Fudgery. We're going to go with fudgery. Um, plenty of food. Uh, you know, pre COVID times, lots of concerts and small bands that'll play in there. We scoot outside of that and you've got uh, docking space and marina space for people to go in and out of Norfolk. We actually have a ferry that goes from Norfolk all the way to Portsmouth. So if you want to shoot over there to hit up some cool restaurants like the Beer Garden. Town Point Park is actually a green space which hosts the majority of the festivals and events here in Norfolk. Uh, Festevents.org is a company that does the majority of the coordination of that. We've actually partnered with them this year to be part of the community development program which is a supporting uh, grant program to help with local small businesses. You'll see a link below for that. It's pretty cool. Uh, we're super proud to be part of that. But Fest Events puts on uh, Norfolk Harbor Fest, which is a huge, huge festival. Um, music and parties and vendors, um, bands, uh, all kinds, you know, all local food vendors, um, beer, brewery, wine, all that kind of going on. One of the other major events that, that goes on is uh, the Jazz Fest, and there's gonna be a link below. There's probably a dozen that goes on per year. It's something totally worth checking out and is very much uh, one of the top fun things to do in Norfolk. You scoot over to the west of that, and you have the Nauticus and uh, Battleship Wisconsin. So you have a big naval museum there. Um, we are the largest naval base, or we host the largest naval ba base in the world, uh, being previous Navy myself. You'd think that I'd been to that museum more than once, but I only went there once and I was already bored with it. Um, Personally, you know, being in the Navy, I just didn't find it all that fun, but uh, maybe in 20 years when I turn into an old man and uh, need to go in there and reminisce, it'll be a little bit more interesting. The decommissioned uh, battleship is super cool to check out, um, taking the kids over there to kind of see what it feels like to live and work uh, on an active battleship. And uh, it actually is pretty cool to go over there during the time of when sunset is happening because you can actually see it uh, setting over there and it's actually kind of a cool little area to take a date maybe. All right, rolling on to number two, we're gonna hit the zoo and botanical gardens. 
Uh, Norfolk Zoo is the only local zoo that we have in the area. It just happens to be located in Norfolk, so all the surrounding cities have to come to us to, uh, to go see some animals. My obvious favorite would be uh, lions, the giraffes, and the elephants. Yeah, the Norfolk Zoo was started in the early 1900s, I think 1900, 1901, somewhere in that range. Um, but they have tons of events. You can actually host birthday parties there. They have a movie night that happens on occasion. Uh, there is a splash pad for the kids. Uh, one of my favorite little pieces of the, uh, the Norfolk Zoo is actually have one of those little miniature trains that goes around the entire park. And uh, I think it's only like two bucks to ride. Totally worth it to take the kids over there. The second half of that is going to be the Botanical Gardens. And I think this is easily one of the best attractions of Norfolk. Uh, it is an enormous, well, exactly what it sounds like, garden. They host uh, concerts here as well. I've actually attended a few weddings here before. Um, it's a big attraction for that. They do a butterfly garden. So uh, it's this really cool little room where you can walk through and literally butterflies are just swarming around you. Uh, if I haven't mentioned it already, they have a splash pad for the kids. Uh, they have classes that they put on all the time. So if you kill plants like I do, they can teach you how not to do that. Lastly about Norfolk Botanical Gardens is they have dog days. So you can actually take your dog to Botanical Gardens and walk around. Uh, it, this is a great opportunity if you want to get outside and go for a long walk. Um, get your dog accustomed to other dogs. I know a lot of people during COVID have not had a chance to socialize them, so this would be a great opportunity to go out and do that. Uh, obviously, like I've mentioned in several videos, please, please, please take a doggy bag. Nobody likes stepping in dog doodle. They do have at several stations throughout the park little dog bags that you can actually pick up if you forgot yours. Rolling on to number three, and I'm just gonna go ahead and admit up front, I've only been here once, but I have a lot of friends that absolutely adore it. It is the Chrysler Museum of Art. Uh, one of the coolest things about the Chrysler Museum of Art is actually 100% free. Parking is free. Um, we, this is a, um, a large collection. I believe it's 30,000 plus pieces of art. Joined with that is we have the one of the top collections of glass art attached to this, which they put on uh, workshops and um, demonstrations, and they even have like apprenticeships there. Uh, from what I understand, um, Norfolk, unbeknownst to me until most recently, has one of the coolest art collections or glass art collections in the world. All right, rolling on to number four uh, is gonna be, as silly as it may seem, uh, Ikea and Norfolk Premium Outlets. So both of these are newer additions. Uh, if you are an Ikea fan like me, um, I am nothing in comparison to my wife. She absolutely adores Ikea. She loves, even if it's just gonna go over there and roll through the store, uh, I get exhausted and end up basically sitting while she goes around the, the store, runs circles around me. Um, but if you're a big fan of Swedish furniture or uh, do it yourself, I end up getting tasked with putting it together and uh, you know pinching fingers and shouting a bunch of obscenities. Um, but uh, Ikea is a huge attraction um, now for the area. As my wife is going around and looking at furniture, uh, I end up with, getting lost and probably uh, shuttled over to the section where you have to collect your spouse at the end because uh, I end up getting lost throughout the entire store. Even though they have nice little arrows that point you where you're supposed to go, I get lost every single time. Uh, and then at the end, uh, I get Swedish meatballs, which are delicious. Right across the street, you've got the Norfolk Premium Outlets. If you've never been to a premium outlets, this is a great area to go shopping, especially for the holiday season. Usually you can get anywhere between 25 to 65% off on some like premium brands. I believe they have like 66 stores over there. My favorite are probably gonna be the Under Armour, Converse store, the Levi store. Number five, um, this is my personal opinion. I think Norfolk out of all of the seven cities has the best selection of breweries and food. Uh, I believe we have our nine or 10 breweries. Uh, our office here is located right next to Elation Brewing, which um, comes with its pros and cons. Uh, but we have, they, you know, they have a fantastic oven here. They have wonderful beer. They actually have a lager named after the um, neighborhood that I live in, Largemont Lager, which is absolutely fantastic. Uh, then food. I mean, Norfolk has probably the most diverse amount of food. You could probably go out to eat every single weekend for an entire year, probably for multiple years in a row, and still not hit every little place in there. 
Uh, special shout out for Lake Grand Kitchen, 8020 Burger Bar, uh, Grain um, Beer Garden on top of the Hilton is a fantastic date spot. Uh, Jesse's Taqueria in Ocean View, World of Good in Ocean View is, is absolutely phenomenal. Um, just to name a few great places. All right, I've got one more little bonus one for you. One of the cool things I think about Norfolk that it, it can actually really be fun, and we've done this several times with friends, and we did it when I was a, a youth leader at a, a local church, is a treasure hunt for the local mermaids. So I wanna say that we have over 200 mermaids in the area. Um, Sean will probably hopefully put up a few of them here, but basically a local sculptor put them together, had a whole bunch of local artisans paint them, and they put them sporadically throughout the city. It's a little bit of a, um, a nod to old maritime you know, myth, and that uh, was you know, common around here, and it's just a really popular art attraction. So if you end up coming to Norfolk, make a day of it, go around, try to find a whole bunch of them, take pictures, or maybe you could do a treasure hunt thing with the kids. It's a lot, a lot of fun. Thanks again so much for paying attention to my top five. Did I miss something? Should I have added something? Or any of those that I added ridiculous and I should have taken them off? Either way, uh, let us know, like down at the bottom if this is helpful or fun content. If you hit the little subscribe button down at the bottom, let us know, uh, it'll, YouTube does its algorithm and it'll let you know when we drop new content on Mondays and Fridays. And again, my name is Dan Inman. Uh, my wife and I work in the area as a realtor and a local loan officer. If we can help your family move into the area, we would absolutely love to do that. Like I said, as much as we love doing these videos, we'd love more to serve you and your family. Until next time, see you later.